Hello everyone, welcome to Fantasy Recaps Family. Today I'm going to show you a South Korean sea adventure film from 2022, titled The Pirates, The Last Royal Treasure. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. 50 years ago, on a rainy night in the Goryeo Kingdom, the entire kingdom is unstable because of war. Goryeo's general takes it as an advantage and goes to rob the king's royal treasure with his soldiers. The guards tried to stop him, but he slaughtered them and robbed tons of gold and sailed across the sea in a large ship. The ship has a black dragon flag. At present day, an ex-military soldier named Wu Muchi and his bunch of bandits are sailing in a small raft in the middle of the sea without food and water. It seems they have been stuck there because of the bad leadership of Wu Mu Chi. The bandits get angry and try to kill him. Suddenly, a beautiful girl appears. Wu Mu Chi thought he was dead and the girl was an angel, but it is Hei Rang, a brave captain of a pirate ship. She rescued him and his group and let them live in her pirate ship. Three months later, it's a fine day and Wu Mu Chi is sleeping on the ship. Hei Rang forced him to wake up and asked him to do his work. The pirates on the ship don't like to have the bandits with them since they are too lazy. Bandits also don't like pirates and everyone hates to eat fish every day. Mei Kai, one of the pirates, throws the fish away saying, for how many days in a row could they eat them? Hei Rang gets angry and scolds Mei Kai for throwing the precious food. Both groups often had a comical clash between them. Suddenly, they saw a Japanese ship sailing near them. Hei Rang and her pirates decided to steal money and food from that ship and dragged it near them using ropes. Pirates and bandits are so happy thinking the Japanese ship will have various types of meat. To prove their strength and power, Wu Mu Chi said he and his bandits will attack the Japanese ship and will take all the food and money. He jumped to the Japanese ship with his bandits, but Wu Mu Chi only made it. All the other bandits fell into the sea. Accidentally, Muchi left his sword on the pirate ship, so he is not able to fight with the Japanese soldiers. Hei Rang and the other pirates laughed at him and arrived there to help. But Wu Muchi said he didn't want the pirates' help, and started to fight with them with his bare hands in a comical manner. Hei Rang threw a small knife to him. He caught the knife and defeated all the soldiers. Hei Rang was amazed to see his fighting skills. Hei Rang questioned the soldiers why they entered her water limit and all the others went to search for meat. Mei Kai translates their language to Hei Rang. The soldiers said they were just following the water current. The pirates and others were angry because there was no meat on the ship and threatened them. A little boy on the ship got scared and said that they were searching for a treasure. Japanese soldiers tried to shut him up, but Hei Rang asked him about the treasure. The boy showed the map and Wu Mu Chi sees that it guides to the treasure stolen by Goryeo's general. According to the legend, the Goryeo general and his soldiers were killed and the treasure was buried with them. Wu Mu Chi convinces Hei Rang and she agreed to go on a search for that treasure. By following the instructions in the map, they reached an island in search of an elephant tusk. Hei Rang doesn't have knowledge about the land area. Wu Mu Chi teased her, saying if she is the dragon in the sea, he is a tiger in the land and takes the map and asks the pirates to follow him. He sees a calf running inside of the tunnel and goes inside to kill it for meat. Hei Rang saw a group of cows coming and asked him to come out, but he went inside. A cow grabbed him by its horn and threw him from the cliff. Hei Rang and everyone thought he was dead, but Wu Mu Chi grabbed a tree branch and climbed up there. He also found the elephant tusk. Everyone was happy. Hei Rang ran to him and took the tusk. She doesn't like the doll leadership, so she said only pirates can sail on her ship. One of the bandits named Kang said they could convert themselves to pirates. Hei Rang agreed to take them with her. Wu Mu Chi said he is abandoning the ship, but all of the bandits went with the pirates. In the nighttime, pirates enjoyed their food. Hei Rang and Kang missed Wu Mu Chi so much, but he stayed in the land. They enjoyed the dinner and began to sleep. In the early morning, Kang shouted that the tusk was missing. It seems that Wu Mu Chi had stolen it. Hei Rang and the others went inside the island to catch him. Hei Rang sees a hut and went inside. Wu Mu Chi was there. Hei Rang started to attack him and asked him to return the tusk. Wu Mu Chi said he doesn't have the tusk and told what happened. It seems that Wu Mu Chi went to the ship to steal the tusk. 
so that Hei Rang will beg him and he will become the boss again. But Mei Kai sees him stealing the tusk and says he will help him to become the boss again. Wu Mu Chi believed him, but Mei Kai betrayed him and took the tusk with him. Mei Kai goes to a nearby kingdom. He claims to be Wu Mu Chi and said he is going to find a treasure to impress their princess. Hei Rang and Wu Mu Chi heard this news, arrived there and took the tusk. Hei Rang ordered to tie Mei Kai, Wu Mu Chi and the princess on the ship. Wu Mu Chi escaped and took the tusk back. Hei Rang caught him and her archer aimed at him. Wu Mu Chi returned the tusk and agreed to accept her orders. Wu Mu Chi cracked the military code in the tusk and found the treasure is in a sea cave under the sea and begins to sail there. On the other side, a military general is also searching for the treasure. He was dismissed from his position because of Wu Mu Chi's report against him for killing his own wounded soldiers in a war. He wants to find the treasure to become a king. He came to know that the treasure is in a sea cave and started his journey with his soldiers towards it. Hei Rang and her pirates reached the cave's opening in the middle of the sea. The military general reached the cave's opening in the land side. Hei Rang, Wu Mu Chi, Kang, Mei Kai, Archer and the princess jumped into the sea with airbags full of oxygen and swam towards the cave. Archer helped the princess to swim. They swam across the beautiful fishes and reached the cave, but they didn't find any treasure there. Hei Rang doesn't know what to do. Wu Mu Chi found a long cave opening and led them deep inside the cave. There they found the treasure box full of silver. Everyone was happy, but Wu Mu Chi wasn't happy since there was no gold. He said the treasure must have lots of gold. Pirates begin to take rope from the ship and tie the silver boxes. On the other side, the general blasted the cave's opening and came inside towards them. Meikai sees a sea chart of Inazuma Island where gold treasure must be buried. Suddenly, the general started to attack the pirates. Hei Rang and Wu Mu Chi defended them. Hei Rang was knocked down. Archer safeguarded her. Wu Mu Chi started to fight the general. General was shocked to see Wu Mu Chi and got angry for what he did to him. General tried to kill him. Wu Mu Chi threw all of the treasure boxes tied to the rope into the sea and went down with them. General was not able to catch him since he didn't have an airbag. Hei Rang came there to help Mu Chi without an airbag. Wu Mu Chi inhales air from the bag and kisses her to give her oxygen. The pirates connected the rope to them and tried to lift them up, but a whale swallowed them along with the treasure and expelled Wu Mu Chi and Hei Rang through its nose, but it took away all of the treasure. In the cave, the general finds the sea chart and begins his journey to go to Inazuma Island. After some rest, Hei Rang goes to see Wu Mu Chi. She loved when he kissed her to give breath and developed a crush on him. She asked her pirates to turn their ship to the cave to take the sea chart. Then she remembered that Mei Kai once saw it. He also says he remembers the location and said it's Inazuma Island. All the pirates, including Hei Rang, are shocked since it's dangerous to go there because lightning hits a thousand times every day and clouds will pour rain continuously. Wu Mu Chi asked her whether anyone had gone there. All of them said they had heard about it. Mei Kai said he once came across the island in his childhood. He also agrees to take them there despite the danger if they choose him as their new captain. None of them agreed to it, but Wu Mu Chi teased Hei Rang and she agreed to it since the pirates wanted the treasure. The next morning, they started their journey towards the island. Mei Kai wore new yellow clothes and shouted himself as the pirate king. Hei Rang does cooking. None of them liked the food, but Wu Mu Chi acted like it's tasty. Behind all of this, a love track going on between the princess and the archer. Their journey continued towards the island. On the other side, the general also continued his journey towards the island with his soldiers using the sea chart. Hei Rang sees the sea boiling and realizes they came near the sea of fire and asks the team to fold the sails. But Mei Kai, as a new captain, asked them not to and said he is the one who knows the way. Hei Rang asked him again, but Mei Kai didn't listen to her. Suddenly, lightning attacked them and their sails started to burn. The whole sea became vigorous and ships started to sail in different ways. Everyone shouted at Captain Mei Kai to control the ship, but he got scared and hid under the deck. While he was about to fall from the ship, Wu Mu Chi saved him. Hei Rang controlled the ship. By following her orders, they safely reached Inazuma Island. 
Still, Meikai acted like a captain. After reaching the island, pirates asked where the treasure was. Meikai said it's a small island and asked them to dig in all the places. All of them stared at him. Meikai said he quit being captain and showed a place and asked them to dig there. But nothing was there. Wumuchi climbed up the mountain and found the place where the Goryeo's general and his followers were buried with the treasure. The general and his soldiers also reached that place. They tried to dig the place, but some of the soldiers were struck by lightning. Wumuchi hid there and observed them. The pirates saw a penguin carrying a piece of gold and Meikai asked it to show the treasure. The general's ship begins to destroy the pirate ship and the rest of the crew members. The general found Wu Mu Chi and chased him. Hei Rang split their team in two. Hei Rang and the pirates went to the sea and they took over the general's ship and saved her crew members. Kang and the bandits climbed up the mountain and defeated the soldiers and saved Wu Mu Chi. Wu Mu Chi asked for a one versus one fight with the general and said the winner will have the treasure. Mei Kai followed the penguin and reached the old Goryeo general's ship. The ship was full of gold. The general's ship caught fire and all the pirates, including the captain, jumped to the Goryeo general's ship, which had the treasure. While the ship was about to drown by a big wave, Hei Rang controlled it and saved all of them. On the mountain, the general tried to kill Wu Mu Chi, but he defeated him and won the treasure. Hei Rang turned the ship to the island and joined Wu Mu Chi and the others. All of them became very happy and sailed into the sea. Hei Rang asked Wu Mu Chi if he will stay on the ship with her. Wu Mu Chi said he wishes to walk along her side. Hei Rang became happy and kissed him. Everyone in the ship was shocked to see this. The princess also kissed the archer. All other pirates are happy to have the gold. The ship started to sail in the sea with Black Dragon's flag on it. And the movie ends here. Much thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.